Hello, I am going to discuss about the designing of stepped impedance LC ladder type low pass filter. And a good point to start this work is to refer to the book by Jia Sheng Hong and M. G. Lancaster, The Microstrip Filters for RF Microwave Applications. And this book is published by John Wiley and Sons. And this shows the general structure of the stepped impedance low pass microstrip line filter. And when we design it in CST Microwave Studio, it will look like this. So this has been designed on a uh, FR4, uh, FR4 uh, substrate. And this, what we uh, see on top of the substrate is the filter design. Now, the stepped impedance low pass filter uses a cascade structure um, of alternating high and low impedance transmission lines. So Z0 and Z0 you see here are the 50 ohm impedance lines and then L1 and C2, L3 and then C3. So these sections constitute the high and low impedance transmission lines and these are being alternated. And the length of these lines are shorter than the associated guide wavelength so as to act as a semi lumped elements. And the lumped, the high impedance lines act as a series inductors and the low impedance lines act as shunt capacitors. So this uh, line, high impedance line can be, um, um, can be taken as an inductor and this line can be taken as a capacitor having value C2. Now we are going to uh, design the filter for the following specifications. Cutoff frequency we are going to select as 3 gigahertz and pass band ripple 0.1 dB and the source or load impedance Z0 equal to 50 ohms. And we are going to select a chebi shape response and whose element values are given by G0, G4, G1, G3 as well as G2 and these values can be taken from the uh, book that I have shown as reference. And also we can um, refer the book by David Posa and it gives a, a good description of this, uh, how to uh, raise at these values. And we are going to select the normalized cutoff frequency omega c as 1. Now this is the layout. So Z0 and Z0 are uh, 50 ohm transmission lines. L1 and uh, C2 are the high and low impedance lines. Now um, we need to calculate the inductance of these lines. The inductance, inductance of this, inductance of this uh, high impedance line is given by uh, L1 that is again equal to L3 Z0 by G0 omega C by 2 pi Fc into G1 and C2 the uh, capacitance of this line is G0 by Z0 omega C by 2 pi Fc into G C G2 where um, Fc is the cutoff frequency that we have already taken as 3 gigahertz. Now another parameter that we need to have to design this filter is to is the width of these lines. Okay? The width of the lines, the physical length of the high and low impedance lines can be found by these equations IL equal to lambda GL by 2 pi sine inverse omega C into L divided by Z0L and IC equal to lambda GC by 2 pi sine inverse omega C into C Z0C. Now here uh, we know how to calculate L and we know the value of Z0L and Z0C which I will describe later. We also we need to calculate the value of lambda GL that is the guide wavelength for the uh, high impedance line. And the guide wavelength as you may be knowing is given by C by F into square root of epsilon R E where C is 3 into 10 raised to 8 meter per second. F is the operating frequency which we have taken as 3 gigahertz and then square root of epsilon re is the effective permittivity of the medium. So in order to calculate the effective permittivity of the medium, we need to go back to the analysis of a micro, simple microstrip line and from the, we will get to, uh, we'll get the equation for uh, the effective permittivity of the, of the line. And the effective permittivity of the line uh, is given by this equation, the epsilon rel is uh, so this can be uh, found from the basic analysis of a microstrip line. And then we will substitute these two values that is epsilon re into and epsilon re, uh, epsilon re c to this equation that is lambda g l. So that is given by 
okay in these equations to find out the length required for the high as well as low impedance lines okay so before we begin uh, let me remind you that we are going to use the substrate fr4 with permittivity 4.4 loss tangent 0 0.02 and hey height of the substrate is 1.6 mm so when we uh, uh, run the matlab program uh, we'll get these values the total length of the substrate is 35 mm width is 28 mm and for the 50 ohm um, uh, 50 ohm microstrip line the width happens to be 3 mm and the width of the high impedance line is 0.7 mm and width of the capacitor capacitor line is uh, 8 mm low impedance line is uh, 8 mm and then we have also calculated the length calculated the length of the high impedance and low impedance lines and it turns out to be 5 mm each okay now let us proceed with the designing in uh, cs in matlab as well as cst okay so this is a book code that i have written to calculate the uh, uh, parameters of a uh, of the step impedance lc ladder type low pass filter okay i have specified the frequency as 3 uh, 3 gigahertz then height of the substrate is 1.6 mm epsilon r relative permittivity is 4.4 and then i have input the um, g values all the g values the characteristic impedance of the line is 50 then omega c is 1 and it requires certain input values that is width the width of the 50 ohm microstrip line the impedance of the inductor line then the width of the inductor line and then from the if you have the um, um, if we if we have the impedance of the inductor line from that we can calculate the impedance of the capacitor line that is z0 square by zl and uh, when once we calculate the impedance of the capacitor line we need to calculate the width of the capacitor line for that particular impedance and once we have that values we will calculate the epsilon, uh, effective permittivity for the inductor line and the effective permittivity for the capacitor line and then we will calculate L1, L2 and Lc2 and then finally and then we will substitute these values of uh, effective permittivities for of the uh, high impedance and low impedance lines into these equations and we will calculate lambda gl and lambda gc once we have lambda gl and lambda gc we can calculate the length of the inductor and the capacitor lines as L1, ll and lc so that is the program code now let me run this program now substrate is fr4 enter the width of the 50 ohm microstrip line okay we need to calculate the width of the um, microstrip line for these parameters height 1.6 mm frequency 3 3 gigahertz epsilon r relative permittivity 4.4 so we will start with cst We will start a new project, uh, project template, microwave and RF and optical, circuit and components. Okay, uh, we can very well use planar filters, wavered couplers and dividers, or planar couplers and dividers. I am going to select planar couplers and dividers. Next, uh, the simulation is going to be in the frequency domain. Next, next. We need to specify the start frequency which is for 1 gigahertz and the maximum frequency I am going to specify that as 5 gigahertz. Next, finish. So CST uh, gives you the environment to simulate the device. Okay, now uh, coming back to the MATLAB program, uh, it, it, it had asked us to uh, enter the width of the 50 ohm microstrip line. And for that, CST gives you a macro to calculate the analytical line impedance. And then when we take that, uh, it uh, gives you the uh, different kinds of transmission lines. And from that, we need to select thin microstrip. Okay, so this is the design parameters for a uh, microstrip line. Uh, height of the substrate, the red one that we see here are the ground, uh, are the metallic, uh, uh, are metal. 
and then this is the ground plane and then this one is a strip line the width having width w permittivity epsilon and height h now we i'm going to specify the frequency as 3 gigahertz and then i need to specify the permittivity of the medium that is 4.4 and then uh, the height of the substrate is 1.6 mm then when we calculate the impedance turns out to be 63.56 so we need to put that to 50 ohm let me substitute w equal to 3 when we calculate that z0 happens to be 50.82 coming back to the program enter the width of the 50 ohm micro strip line that is um, 3 millimeter enter impedance of the in inductor line um, when we choose the uh, high impedance and low impedance line um, the uh, it has to be the high impedance line has the impedance of the high impedance line has, uh, high impedance line has to be above 50 ohm and that of the low impedance line has to be below 50 ohm so let me choose the impedance of the inductor line as 100 ohms okay now it requests to input the width of the inductor line we need to calculate the width of the inductor line 400 ohm impedance coming back to the cst uh, let me substitute here uh, 0.7 okay then the impedance becomes 100 ohms okay coming back to the MATLAB program let me enter the value 0.7 then the ZZ becomes 25 now um, for um, 25 ohms we need to enter the width of the capacitor line coming back to the CST program then CST then if I substitute here 8 then it gives uh, gives me the impedance as 25.94 and I uh, substitute that value here and it calculates the length of the inductor line as 4.9668 and length of the capacitor line as 5.1124 now that can be approximated to be 5 and 5 and uh, we have um, so this is a layout of the uh, step impedance LC type low pass filter so these are we have calculated these values it is 0.7 and this is 0.8 and length of this line is 5 mm and this one is 5 mm we have taken this length of the this the my 50 ohm transmission line to be 10 mm now coming back to CST um, then we are now going to uh, design the filter press 5 and uh, it shows the XY plane and then from modeling take a uh, brick and then press on one corner and press uh, um, I mean drag and then press on the other corner double click then you can create a block uh, call this block as ground so G and D and then uh, I have shown that uh, the total length is 35 millimeter so I'm going to substitute here as 17.5 and 17.5 and the height is 28.28 millimeter so I'm going to substitute here 14 and 14 is it mean is 0 and height is 0.01 the component has to be changed it has been loaded from the material library let me type cu copper i mean copper co copper uh, copper anneal load preview okay so this one uh, becomes the bottom metallization what you see over here now we have to draw this one the substrate for that come back to brick i'm going to name it as fr4 17.5 17.5 14.5 14, and this height has to start at 0 0.01 and end at 1.61 and the material has to be changed 
load from material library fr4 here it lies fr4 low c load <coughs> review okay so we have um, drawn the ground as well as the as well as fr4 okay press 5 then press space <coughs> now uh, we need to draw this one the center capacity high low impedance line and the dimension of the low impedance line is 8 mm by 5 mm so i'm going to have the brick again uh, so let me call it c and the width is uh, 8 mm so i substitute here 4 4 and the height sorry mm, the width is 5 mm so i substitute here 2.5 and 2.5 this is 4 and this is 4 and the set mean has to be 1.61 and the set max has to be 1.62 so the material is copper review okay now i need to create the low high impedance line and i'm going to let me call that l and this has to begin at uh, since the total width is 8 mm 4 mm so this has to begin at 4 and the total length of the line is 5 that is 4 plus 5 that is 9 review okay now the width of the line is 0 0.71 so that is 0 0.35 and 0 0.35 and the height uh, the level has to be 1.61 and the height has to be height has to end at 1.62 review capacity plan item If you want to measure the length of this line, we have this option here, picks, and then select the edge and then double click. So that is only 5 mm, whereas it has, yes, 5 mm, okay, clear picks. Now, let, let us, let me create the high impedance line. Let me call it L, and it has to start at 2.5 and the length is 5 mm so that is 7.5 and the width is 0 0.7 so that has to be 0 0.35 0 0.35 1.61 the level has to be at 1.61 and 1.62 review oh oh 0.35 Okay, now we need to design the 50 ohm micro strip line. So I am going to call that as MS line. That has to obviously it had to start at 7.5 and then end at 17.5, uh, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5. That has to be at 1.6. 1 and 1.62 copper annealed review has come okay if you want to measure the length of the line then we have this option called peaks click here double click on the edge then it is 5 5 and double click on this edge that is 10 mm clear peaks okay now we have to draw the others other side there is a option called transform for that so expand this tree that is components again component one then we need to select those components that, that need to be transformed i'm going to select l and ms line and then right click 
transform here there is an option uh, called mirror copy and then the we are going to mirror the um, we are going to mirror uh, along the x x direction so put one here preview okay so it has come the next step is to add all these elements so we select all these c press control and uh, select l l ms line ms line okay and then we have this option called boolean add press on that then we it has been joined okay as you can see these elements have been joined the next step is to introduce the wave port so for that in simulation we have this option called wave guide port click on that uh, free we need not have all the length uh, let's put at put as 5 5 0 and let us put this as 4 preview now let us put that as 5 okay free normal position that need not then apply then press negative preview apply cancel okay so we have got two waveguide ports now we need to save this program You can see the progress here. The results can be had from this tree called 1D results. It is yet to come. Okay, now let us check the uh, results of the simulation. In the 1D results, we need to check the tree as parameters. Oh, it has come out really well. Uh, as expected, the cutoff frequency is 3 gigahertz. And what you see here is S12. The blue one is uh, transmission, transmission loss. And then uh, the orange one, orange as well as the red one is the return loss. So it remains almost uh, at 0 db and the cutoff frequency is at around around at 3 3 gigahertz so this is how we design a step step impedance low pass microwave filter in uh, using matlab as well as csd and thank you for watching the video